All right, going to show some examples of Illuminati Antichrist symbolism in the Vatican, the Roman Catholic Church, the head of the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, aka Mystery Babylon of Revelation chapter 17 and chapter 18. We're going to show some pictures of uh, Illuminati Antichrist idolatry in the Vatican, which is supposedly a Christian church, but this proves otherwise. So here's the first picture, which is actually a depiction of the Antichrist. It's a depiction of the Vatican New World Order under the Antichrist. And this image of this supposed Jesus Christ guy is not biblical at all. We're not supposed to have any images of Jesus Christ according to Acts 17.29. But they have this image of Jesus Christ, which is basically just a depiction of the New World Order under the Antichrist, under the Antichrist Vatican. Plain and simple. It's a foreshadowing of that, of that Illuminati Jesuit New World Order. Here is the next picture. Of, again, a depiction of the Antichrist in the form of a Pope, because I do believe the Antichrist will be a Pope-like figure. And this is a depiction of the Antichrist in the form of a Pope over the whole world, in, again, the Vatican Jesuit Illuminati New World Order. Antichrist symbolism all over the place in the Vatican. Now here's a very interesting picture of supposedly the throne of St. Peter, but uh, you notice the throne, how big it is. You know, pretty big, very, very telling how big it is. But also, notice on top of the throne, there is basically essentially a veil, a portal being broken, and essentially the spirit of Antichrist coming through that portal, foreshadowing who the Catholic Church is waiting for, the spirit of Antichrist. The Antichrist, I believe, will sit in a, on a throne in the Vatican, because again, the Vatican is Mystery Babylon. So you have this throne, which would be the throne of the Antichrist, then you have the portal breaking and the Antichrist essentially being unleashed, the spirit of Antichrist, which is already in the world, but then the physical Antichrist being unleashed. And here's actually a close, uh, further back picture, picture that's further back of that same throne, uh, which then they have the, the pews facing towards that throne, which you know will be the worshippers of the Antichrist, foreshadowing who the Catholic Church is waiting for. Now here's another interesting picture of essentially weeping for Tammuz. You got Mary. This is supposedly Jesus weeping. This is supposedly Mary weeping for Jesus, but you read Ezekiel chapter eight verse, I believe it's verse 14, you have women there that is weeping for Tammuz, and this is what's being depicted here. You have this woman here weeping for Tammuz. That's what all that, that's being depicted by the Catholic Church. That's one of the, the numerous gods that the Catholic Church worships, Tammuz, the ancient pagan god Tammuz. Now here's a very interesting picture of all these statues on the Vatican, which are nothing more than just pagan Greco-Roman gods. Because you compare this with the pagan Greco-Roman temples, it's very, very similar. It has a lot of similarities, and it's very much in common. These are just simply pagan Greco-Roman gods repackaged and Christianized. Because, of course, Catholicism is not Christianity. Catholicism is just pagan Greco-Roman Babylonian mysticism repackaged. But then you have these, these pagan Greco-Roman gods on top of the Vatican on being as, as decoration or whatever, but really, they're showing that they're just a bunch of Greco-Roman pagans repackaged. They're nothing more just a bunch of baptized pagans, I'll put it that way. So those are just some examples of pagan Illuminati symbolism that's all over the Vatican. These are just a few examples. There's plenty more of satanic Illuminati symbolism all over the Vatican, just showing who the Vatican really worships, the spirit of Antichrist, plain and simple. The Roman Catholic Church is not a Christian church. The Roman Catholic Church is a satanic cult from the pit of hell. Plain and simple. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. And, and don't be deceived by Catholicism. Okay, anyone who's not not a Christian out there, don't be deceived. The Catholic Church is not a Christian church. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.